Welcome to the multi-purpose marine simulator here in Aberdeen Training Centre for Transocean Drilling. Uh, it was built by Pisces, an Aberdeen firm, and is basically what we believe is the only one in the world of this nature. It deals with training people on semi-submersible and jack-up installations with regards to stability, management of major emergencies, OIM's assessments, and the operations of jack-up rigs. The room that we're actually in right now is the instructor's room. The suite that you can see here is actually divided into two systems. On the right hand side of this desk here we have the marine systems. This is where I normally sit for stability and jack-up operation courses. On the left hand side is a separate suite which basically deals with the fire and gas and emergency situations. Obviously. With one instructor and two instructors, we can combine the facilities into one, two, multiple parts, whatever we require, depending on the course and the level of the course that we're dealing with. In the big screen above us here, we can actually see a course ongoing. These guys are from one of our rigs work in the west coast of Africa who have come here for a MEM course. That's a major emergency management course. And these guys will be assessed individually over the week on their ability to deal with emergencies. There are other two parts to this simulator. There's the external table, which is the actual platform, which dynamically moves with the weather while they're on board. It also has digital sound input, lighting, etc., that we can use to simulate the various effects. And then separately for the OIMS assessment, there is an observer suite. The observer suite is where the independent observer or our company managers can come and sit and watch the performance of myself and the guys on the courses. Okay gentlemen, the situation is just now, I'm just setting up the simulator with a group of guys in there and I'm going to bring them some weather and then bring her online. The situation at this stage is basically setting her up for a major emergency. That's her online, the weather's taking hold of the vessel now, the guys are monitoring the situation. What I'm going to do is introduce to them a gas alarm and a fire alarm in an engine control room. What I'm looking for from these gentlemen is basically a response in an appropriate manner to the emergency that's presented itself. And what I'm doing is monitoring the response. These gentlemen have got a certain amount of things to do, to refer to, to get through this. And as we go through it, what I will do is introduce another element. I'm going to release the halon into that space, the halon being the fire extinguisher. That gives something for the team to think about. It's going to release in one minute's time. It's counting down now. As we do this, we we'll continue to run. The rig is acting against the weather. She's trimming port aft. Give them something else to think about. I'm going to introduce a leak now into the port pump room. What I'll do is I set up the leaking system, and what I'll do is introduce seawater. It's approximately one quarter meter square, the hole, so it's quite big. It is leaking now, so it's going to give the OIM something else to think about. I'm also watching for the ballast control room operator to feed that information into the team so that they can address it. The rig is also now reacting with the weather and the leak. It's now all poor apt. It may take some time for them to identify it, but there goes the alarm now for the port pump room. And I'm sure the alarm now coming up. It's low level at the minute. Just waiting for a reaction now. The information to be fed into the system. And I'm looking for the actions to be carried out accordingly. There's the ballast control room operator now feeding the information to the team. He should start accepting alarms. The halon's released as well, so they've got two major incidents going on a stability situation and a fire situation. Look, the power generation hasn't killed any engines, so I'm going to take them off them just to give them something else to think about. The screens will start going black. Any second now, that's it, he's now got his power cut off, we go on to emergency power, screens return, and we're there.
Now we're just waiting for a response. This exercise will probably continue for another 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes, and we just monitor the situation. If things go right, and get himself out of this situation. If things go wrong, we're going to have a catastrophic failure of the rig.